were in the northern part, very mountainous part, bordering on Eritrea. And not only is it rugged mountain, but it's very arid mountain. Uh, they haven't had measurable rainfall for several years, except in very recent times, some torrential downpours, which is not helping the drought. So this is an area of extreme drought and now famine that results. And the, the segment of population that suffers the most are the very elderly and the children. So my emphasis on this pastoral visit was to be with the children. Uh, and Kanewa uh, is privileged to help in some very modest ways, but I think at the same time significant. We provide biscuits, nutritional biscuits for children in 70 different locales where this is the difference of children having enough energy to walk the normal two to three hours each way to school over mountainous trails and not to faint, to be awake to learn and to be with children in these humble learning circumstances. No light except maybe one window, crude window, no electricity, but uh, to greet me. Imagine greeting me by singing a song to Mary uh, and, and making a sign of the cross and praying for me in their indigenous language. Uh, or the greatest was when biscuits were being given to them I, they were in cellophane containers and to see children eat one but fold up to take home and share with their siblings. But the, the incident that touched me the most, one little girl took a bite out of hers and then reached out and offered me. That captured the essence of what the Catholic value is all about. That's why we help children. That's why we support these humble mountain schools. Everywhere we went, the people were so hospitable. Here we were at a very crude and humble stone hut, and a woman had just milked her goat and brings us a bowl of goat's milk. What a, what a beautiful gesture of welcome. This typifies my visit. And I keep saying the privilege. Uh, and, and it always is, and I, I hope our viewers appreciate this, that if they're part of our Kanewa family, they too enjoy this tremendous privilege. Uh, it's a privilege that our Holy Father, Pope Francis, often speaks about. A privilege of being merciful, a privilege of being kind and reaching out to others. So to, to everyone who's part of our family, those that we serve and those that help us to serve, I say thank you and God bless you.